Hey you guys, this is Danielle. I'm coming back to tell you guys something that was on my spirit. Also, if you want to go and subscribe to my channel, it's The Heal and Love Gracefully and Purposefully. All right, this is where you come to learn how to heal, to be delivered from stuff, to be oppressed from things that you've been oppressed with in, in bondage, okay? The Lord is trying to do something new in each and every one of our lives, and He's trying to help us to get to the calling and the purpose that He has for our lives, okay? And only He knows what He has in store for you. So, I wanted to come on here to tell you guys how important it is, excuse me, how important it is for you to guard your ear gates and your eye gates, all right? The enemy loves to plant seeds, all right? And these seeds then sprout up in your life, okay? And turn into different type of fruits or plants, if you will. So you want to... In the mighty name of Jesus. I know y'all saw that because the enemy know I got a whole good word for y'all. Do not let the enemy plant seeds that turn into bad fruit okay when I say bad fruit I'm talking about these type of fruits that wreak havoc in your life to keep you from your purpose to keep you from your destiny all right your brain is a computer your brain is a computer whatever has been done throughout your whole entire life whether it has been trauma based for example whatever experiences that you have had in your life is stored in your memory bank of your subconscious. And that's why you can drive a car without really having to keep putting in the directions to go to the place that you need to go to because your subconscious mind has already programmed the directions to that place, okay? So your body and your mind will automatically respond to the way in which it's always known how to respond, whether that be in a trauma-based response okay or a positive based response whatever the case may be but i wanted to let you guys know how important it is to guard your mind and your ears and your eyes against all of the enemy's tactics because he is out here trying to plant seeds and these seeds are trying to take over the good fruits that the lord wants to have inside of you because no sooner than the lord comes to plant words of encouragement words to a revelation things to free yourself right no sooner than the lord comes to plant these seeds does the enemy come right behind the lord to uproot every good seed that he is trying to plant in your life okay and so just like when you have a computer you get the software right to try to keep the viruses from invading and attacking your computer you need to do the same thing when it comes to your mind and your brain and your heart and your emotions all right it is very imperative because the Lord is trying to free us from cycles, okay? Cycles of bondage, cycles of whatever the case may be. You know what type of cycles that you may be in. The Lord is just trying to free people and redeem people and to heal people and to deliver people and to bring salvation to people and to bring his people back unto him so they can realize who is in control of their life and who is supposed to direct their paths, okay? And the Lord is calling all his people to come back to him, okay? Because he knows the plans that he has for you, all right? And his plans are to prosper you. It is never to bring destruction to your life okay so i hope that this encourages someone please guard your ear gates and your eye gates and your heart okay and please 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 don't allow yourself to be a vessel for the enemy to use to wreak havoc in your own life because he'll do self-sabotage in your own life and don't go out here wreaking havoc in other people's lives okay we want to continue to heal and love and move in the way that God wants us to move purposefully and by his grace. All right, so you guys have a great day. I hope this blesses somebody and frees somebody.